Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do a really fun summer piece with some handprints here uh, as little fishes and a treasure chest. So I've got my handprints down on the plate already. Um, you guys can just put them wherever you'd like. I just kind of drew a little circle there so we would know where they go. Um, and then we're going to take the Tahiti teal paint and we're going to paint the background. Uh, so I've drawn the, the area where the sand is going to be painted, so I'll just avoid painting there. And we're just going to paint around the handprint. All right, now we're going to add the sand castle to the bottom here. And again, this is just going to be one to two coats of paint. Okay, now we're going to take the pencil and sketch out the shapes of the fish. And then we're going to use a liner brush and a darker shade of yellow to go around the yellow one and a darker shade of green to go around the green one. So I'm going to start with the yellow and the liner brush. Just rub some of that pencil away. And then just follow the outline. Okay, and then we're going to take a round brush and the brown paint and just paint right around the hand or the tread of the chest. And this is just one coat. All right, and then we'll add some bubbles and just make some puddles down for bubbles. And then we'll put some eyes on there. So we'll use some white paint and the back flat eraser end of a number two pencil and we'll give our fish some eyes by just dipping the pencil into the paint and then dotting it onto the plate. All right, now we're gonna add some of the color details into the fish. So with the Woody Oak Fun Rider, we're just gonna go in and add some scales. And just some detail lines to the fins. And then we'll do that for the green one as well. And then we're going to add just a, some really light blue, super subtle wave lines. All right, we're going to take the pencil and sketch our words on. All right, now I've got my well, words on the platter. And you can see that the platter I'm working on is just a little bit smaller than the platter I'm working from the sample. Um, so I had to sort of improvise here with my letters and kind of pull it around down the bottom. So you can sort of shift them and move them if you need to, um, depending on what piece you're working on. So I'm just going to take the dark blue fun writer and now I'm just going to brush this graphite away just a little bit so that none of the paint pulls away from it and then we'll put our words on. Okay, and then we're going to take the same blue fun writer and just outline our bubbles. Okay, now we're going to take the black fun writer and do the details on the fish. And then we're going to do the treasure chest next. Careful, you don't run into your words. So we don't have the skull add on today, so we're just going to add a little lock ourselves. I'm going to put the name up here in mine uh, because there's so much words around the fish, so I'm going to Alright, we're going to add a few of the dark blue dots all through the background 
And then we're going to take the blue heaven paint and a round sponge and get the flat side loaded with the paint. Hold the plate with your left hand at the bottom. With your right hand, pull the sponge around the rim. And we'll give that just a second to dry in between coats, but you'll want to do three coats of that to get a nice solid rim and then your plate is all finished. 